five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble, and it goes from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, out to California we go, and of course the lovely strains of our favorite melody, Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> hello, Alex. Well, hello, Larry. This is Last a- time I was on Facebook, I saw a picture of you. You were getting ready for your procedure. No, that was after the procedure. That was after. Okay. Well, you looked uh, wide awake. Mm. Yeah, and quite a procedure it was. We're recording this probably a couple of days after the procedure, and it'll probably be, be on a week later. So uh, I will have told a lot of the story. But the picture you saw of me was after I came back, and they had me in bed uh, and uh, had me drinking a ton of water because they couldn't let me leave unless I peed. And uh, I don't know about you, but I can't pee on command. I'm sorry, you know. And I wanted to get home. I just got cranky as hell. I just, I was, because I was in pain from my, my bladder was starting to hurt me because there was so much liquid in it. And she said, well, I'm not ready to pee yet. You're not ready to pee yet. And I went, I got to <laughs> pee. Get me out of all of this. I was hooked into the <laughs> IV and I was, they had some things on my legs that kept throbbing my legs to make sure they didn't get cramped. And, um, you know, what else did I have in me? Gee, I had all kinds. I was, I was, I was literally plugged in. Uh, and, and, and I said, get this stuff off of me. I was just getting cranky as hell. And I said, give me that bucket. Let me go to the bathroom and try. <laughs> She says, well, I don't know if you can go. If you don't go as much as we need you to go, you're going to have to do it again. It's going to take another couple of hours before the... I said, just give it to me. And I went, to the, I went to the bathroom, and I peed enough, and they let me go. But boy, was I cranky. Uh, well, they got to uh, they got to make sure you can go. Otherwise, you get home, you can't go. Then you got to come back and get the catheter. And- yeah, well, they pulled out the catheter. Which no, I, I thought I thought catheters were these thin little like tubes, right? Uh, they're it's horrible. A, it's a fucking hose. It's a <laughs> hose. <laughs> you know, I could water my lawn with this thing if I had a lawn. Uh, I mean, it was, it was just a hose. And then, of course, afterwards, uh, you know, your is blood in your shall I say urine. And mm-hmm. uh, you're p- and it hurts like hell to pee, and it's not because of the prop the uh, operation I had. It's because of the goddamn catheter they put in you. So I, I you know, yeah, those those things are nasty. I'm, I'm still getting over that. Have you had a catheter before? Long kid, my first kidney stone. Yeah, just yipes. Just. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Well, it doesn't hurt while it's in. I didn't know it was in. Here's what they did. I, and I've, I've talked about this already, but why the hell shouldn't I talk about it again? They couldn't. They, I thought they were going to put me out. But they didn't. Oh, wow. They gave me a spinal. Oh, that's even worse. Well, they gave me a spinal, and then he gave me, like, intravenous Valium. So quite frankly, it was the same as though they put me out, except I was constantly enjoying the high. <laughs> that, was, that was the difference. Well, the, yeah. the Valium sounds nice. I don't want anyone touching my spine. Yeah. Now we have, a, well, the, the spine, it, I thought it was going to hurt. It pinched a little, you know. Uh, but then uh, he did about four times, and then uh, uh, all of a sudden uh, my feet started becoming numb. And... Uh, what was great is because I have neuropathy. At least it made my neuropathy go away. <laughs> you know? And uh, I was dead from the waist down. And I, we have a caller to this program named Patrick Blazik, who is, is uh, in a wheelchair, and he is dead from the waist down. Okay? 
And I suddenly realized what it was like to be Patrick. I mean, you can't move your toes. You can't move anything below your waist. Yeah, a nightmare. And on top of that, uh, my because they had the, the catheter in me, which they used some kind of that dulling whatever, uh, my, uh, shall we say, fualum boy boy, uh, was <laughs> numb. So it's weird to feel down there, as I have done many times in my lifetime, and not to feel anything. Wow. Like somebody had suddenly removed my private parts. Yeah. Whatever. That, that's me. That's me in the hospital. That's me doing my thing. You know. So how long did this whole thing take, in and out of the hospital? Well, the problem was... If I had just had a, you know, an anesthesia, which they didn't want to give me because I'm 80, okay, they hadn't just done the, you know, the uh, what do you call it, the spinal. I probably would have been in and out of there in about a couple hours, but because they did the spinal, I had to wait for the bottom part of my body to get its feeling back, which took at least three hours right there. Holy shit! And, Jesus. Then, and then I had to wait to pee. And that took another two hours. I got in there. I went in at 10 o'clock for the, you know, all the stuff they got to do beforehand and everything. The operation was at noon. And I, we got out of there about, I'd say it was maybe 7 o'clock. That's a full day. Oh, yeah. And I didn't like being stuck in bed either. And I was just getting, I, was, I got so cranky. Oh. I bet I bet it's down in my permanent file at the hospital. Now. Yeah, problem patient. Problem patient, you know, because <laughs> I got grouchy. Forgive me for getting grouchy, you know. But today I'm talking to you a couple of days later, when this will run about a week later. Uh, but uh, a couple of days later, and and I'm still, I'm still feeling somewhat beaten up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And literally, that's how you feel after a, any procedure. You literally feel beaten up. Yeah, yeah. And, um, um, you know, uh, parts of my body hurt a little bit. The, my back hurt slightly yesterday where they did the, uh, where they did the uh, 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 spinal. And uh, then they go in through what's called the perineum, or as it's popu popularly known among guys, the taint. <laughs> and they put, shove needles in there to do the do it because they do it laparoscopically and so that's kind of a little sore you know when i sit down i you know i feel it a little bit but otherwise i'm you know otherwise i mean i mean if i had to go out and do something i suppose i could but i'm just not allowing myself to and i just i haven't even done a show in a couple of days because i've just decided i i, I want to you know i want to feel a little more energetic before I do anything. So that's my that's my story and I'm sticking to it, damn it. So now are you done or do you what else do you have to do? That's it. That's it. Now I have to go back in about a month and get a CT scan, not for diagnostic purposes, but for their files or whatever. And then uh about three months after that they give me a um uh, uh uh, what do you call PSA test to see if my PSA has gone down. They say many times it may not have gone down because your prostate is still puffy, you know, from the puffy. <laughs> from the from the operation. So far as uh, peeing, I'm peeing like a racehorse because I'm taking like some pills to do that. Um, so I'm fine on that, you know, and. Uh, I've been taking Xanax to put me sleep at night, and I don't get up in the middle of the night to go pee. So, uh, so far, so good. Okay, uh, and uh, but I am feeling weak, and a lot of that has to do with you know when you do radiation, uh, it affects you uh, in a rather profound way where fatigue is concerned. And I feel sure. fatigue. I mean, like today I had to make the bed because girlfriend always makes me make the bed before she comes home. Bed has to be made. And, man, it was just, it was like everything I could do to have the energy to do that. I mean, I can do this because I'm sitting down. You know, so. Well, you sound strong. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, I'm glad it's, it's all over. Every every bit of the process is over with. Now all we have to find out is did it work, you know? And there's about a 92% chance it worked. Okay, so I'll take those odds. Okay. And, and you're radioactive. <laughs> and I'm radioactive. I can't get within six feet of a pregnant woman. Uh, and I'm not allowed to uh, sit babies on my lap. <laughs> But supposedly, supposedly, it doesn't leave my body. It's not going extending beyond my body. I'm just radioactive in my prostate. But, and I have to, I have to call my doctor and get a, uh, a, uh, a, a form they were supposed to give me when I left the hospital, but I didn't have it. Where I, if I have to take an airplane, uh, I have this notification that I'm radioactive. Because oh, cool. If, if I don't have it, they're going to yell and scream, hey, ticking time bomb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, ticking time bomb. Uh, he's radioactive, folks. Get away from him. You know, so yeah. I, I uh, what the hell? You know. Uh, well, the worst part's over. The worst part is over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, and, and I'm, it's not hurting as much to pee now, and it's it's uh, you know a little less of the blood in my urine and uh, all of that. I know people don't want to hear this, but I want to talk about it. Okay? I like me- I like medical stuff. So oh, I you love do? It. Okay, well, then you can probably hardly wait to get what I got. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I got it. <laughs> yeah. And, and what's funny, you know what's funny? Uh, uh, because most of the time you go into a uh, uh, an operating room and you're put out, right? So you don't know mm-hmm. what's going on, right? You just wake up and they go, it's all over. Uh, I got the spinal, so I was awake, and then they gave me a lot of Valium, which made the time pass really fast. But I could hear everything that was going on in the in the in the operating room, and it's not like sutures, scalpel, blah blah blah. Give me the blah blah blah. Yeah. Oh, oh, look. Okay, we're in now. You know, none of that. So, what are you doing for lunch? Yeah, just normal conversation. <laughs> normal conversation is going on in the room. You know, it's not like, uh, oh, will you look at that uh, perineum? Uh, oh, will you look at that <laughs> uh, that prostate? Uh, oh, we're having some problem. There's extra bleeding. Let's do something about it over here. Nothing. Just he's doing his work, and they're all talking about lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Unless or I golf. was imagining something. And after it was over, I said to the anesthesiologist who came to visit me and make sure I was okay, uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, so everything okay? I said, yeah. I said, I didn't know you guys talked about what you talk about in the, in the, in the uh, operating room. He says, oh, yeah, we, we work together all the time, so we just have this social relationship to each other. And it continues while the operations are going on. So I learned something. Yeah. God forbid they'd be focused on the uh, surgery. <laughs> yeah, right. I want them to say, oh, boy, let's be careful. we got to be careful with this guy. No. And this guy, you know, I asked him, uh, I said, uh, any problems with this? He says, I've done 4,000 of these. I said, what? He says, yeah, I've done 4,000 of them in my time. He said, I've only had one complication, and that was infection. He said, that's it. And all the time I've been doing it. Mm. The only complication. That's that's good odds. Oh, yeah, no, I I was, you know, uh, I was working with the best. I mean, he's, this guy's a rock star. Um, He kind of invented a lot of the processes they're using today. And he's the go-to guy. You know, he's the guy, as I say, who operated years ago on Rudy Giuliani and saved his life, unfortunately. Uh, (laughs) You know, so I went, oh, uh, Rudy Giuliani's doctor. Hmm. I wonder if I should bring that up to him. And I thought to myself, well, you know, he's going inside of me. I better not. Right. (laughs) (laughs) He probably gets that enough. Okay. You know. (laughs) I, uh, all I said to him once was, I re- I've read up a lot about you, and I hear you're very good at what you do. And he said, yes, thank you. So he knows I probably know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. 
But that's what put him on the map as a uh, as a specialist, you know, is that he did Rudy Giuliani, and he's a specialist in basically in the seeds. That's his his whole thing. Yes, he does the rest of it. When I had my radiation, he was there for every session. Hey, look, I just looked, and we've run out of time already because we've shortened the time now down to fifteen minutes with uh, our our little discussions here because. Um, um, I'm now down to doing the show for an hour and a half, and I'm sure my people want to start talking. But I'll talk to you again next week. Yeah, it flew by like uh, we are on Intervenous Valium. That was great. Yeah, just the Intervenous Valium, yes, yes. But not as much fun. Well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I want to try that. That sounds delightful. It was as much fun. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Larry. Talk to you next thanks, week. Allie. Okay. You got it. Bye-bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hold on a second. I, see, I gotta turn the lights on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I haven't. I yeah. I'm not ready to do this. What? What? Looks like one of my eyes is blacked out here. No. Okay. It's all right. All right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I, See, I got these lights, and I turn them on and off, and uh, uh, if I don't turn them on, uh, you can't see me that well, you think? But now I look great, right? Now I look terrible. Uh, I didn't do a show last night. Uh, you know, I'm taking it night by night. If I feel tired and I feel exhausted uh, because of this radiation, I'm, you know, I'm just not going to, uh, to do a show. Uh, so please get used to the fact that some nights I may be doing a show and some nights I may not be. Reason I didn't do one last night, I'll, I'll tell you. You can, you can't. I guess you can't see it now, right? Why, why is this? Why is this? Uh, I, I, I'm kind of dark there. I can't. <laughs> well, see, see that? There we go. Well, anyway. Uh, the reason I didn't do the show last night was because I looked uh, ugly because I got conjunctivitis and I had to go to the doctor for it. And my eyes were all red and puffy and they're still puffy and all of that, but I have to get more surgery now. I have to get the eyelids done because they droop. See how they droop? Well, I've got to get them undroopy. And as long as we're doing it, girlfriend is going to sp spring for me to get... Uh, my eyes done okay so anyway uh so the lines are open it's time for you to call if you want to call um i just uh i'm i'm, I'm doing this you can't see the bag but she's gonna is she gonna take the bags out so i'll look uh, kind of like you know, I'll, I'll look i'll look uh asian and then i won't be able to get in the country okay anyway uh the phone lines are on but nobody seems to be calling yet. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just wait for people to call and hope that, hope that they do. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I got this, uh, this uh, for some reason I got this uh, conjunctivitis and it was just, it was, it was horrid, it was horrendous, it was, uh, it was hurting. So I went to the doctor yesterday and I, I actually took my life in my own hands, and how I, the way I brought it, took my life into my own hands was, I actually left the house. So, you know. How you doing? Is this uh, still a corona-free zone since you left the house? Uh, w w w since I left the, uh, it, it, it's a corona-free zone. I, what happened was, I had to go, hi, hi, this is Phil Meyer, who just called. Um, I, I got this, um, conjunctivitis, right? And uh, so I immediately called my eye doctor and I wanted to go see him and get it taken care of, right? Um, but I, th that's all the way in, uh, in, down by Union Square. But I'm not taking the subway. No way I'm taking the subway. So I had to take a, a you know, a, a lift, okay? And uh, that round up costing me over $40 to get down Next there. Time, but yeah. hey, how do you get pink eye? 
I thought you get it from other little kids in kindergarten. But uh, uh, well, there are many different types. This was he felt it was. You see, I've got these lids, the lower lids. He says you really got to do something about it. So I'm going to have it. I'll have them operated on soon. Uh, but uh, yeah. it, it, you know, you look, huh? What? If you pull that way, you look Chinese. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Let me see. We have uh, Charlene. Where is she? Uh, got to figure out which one she is. Oh, there, there we go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, um, there's, there's uh, Zeller. Now, hold on a second. Let me yeah. see here. Hold on a second. First, I got to get, uh, uh, oh, well, there, there, there he is. And I don't, uh, I guess, uh, are you there, Charlene? No. 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 Is this uh, uh, still a corona-free zone since you left the house? Uh, uh, since oh, I left wait a minute. Now, who, who's, turn, turn your audio down. Uh, what happened was I had to go. Yeah, high, high, no, uh, you you got to get rid of the audio. I, I got this. Um, uh, oh boy! Right, right. And I, so I immediately called my. Do you, do you hear that? Yeah, Charlene, turn off. No, it's your, not Charlene. It's no? It's, no, it's, not it's, me. it's Jeff. Really? I didn't. I didn't hear it when Jeff came on. Uh, only. Okay, Jeff, are you there, Jeff? I am. Hello. I think I may be going off. No, you're you're fine. You're fine. Everything's I, fine now. And Charlene, I thought yeah, it was you. Yeah, and Charlene, I just don't have a, uh, a thing that says uh, it's your your picture. Okay, hold on. But no, I have, we have your picture. That, oh. That's not the problem. We don't have your link. Uh, hold on a second. Cancel. Cancel that. Uh, let me go here. Here we go. Now let I me tried see. to change that, and I couldn't do it. Hold on a second. Okay, I got you. All right. I was going to make it easier. For okay, you, we 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 have that. we have you there. No, that's that's. Oh, oh God, I'm trying to get these things so they work. Um, I had to still try to fix that and make it my name or something. Well, I I don't know what it is, but it's not that one. Let's see here. That's Skype Live. That's local. What? Boy, I don't. Let me see. If, we it's see, some it, big number or something. Let me yeah. see here. Let me see here. No, that's, yeah, there you are. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm go in there and cha change your name. It makes it a lot easier for us. Yeah, I couldn't get it for the hell of it. I tried it for hours. Anyway, so I didn't know if I was even going to do a show tonight uh, uh, because I'm, I'm still feeling out of it, you know, not 100%, but... I figured if I... You no, know, guess what, Alex? What? I just, you know, thanks for being on, because I was going to have to watch CNN or something, and there was no debate. Or, But I heard uh, Tom Hanks and his wife, uh, Rita Wilson, have got the coronavirus Yeah, now. so, yeah, so, yeah. You just got that news? Yeah, but I mean, uh, this is like, uh, it's getting like 28 days later now. I mean, and they're scaring everybody so much with it. Do you think that... Like they're just getting crazier with these things now than they used to get. You Charlie, know, were you responsible for the coronavirus in New Jersey? I, I gave it to Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, you know, my mother gets like a, a little amulet that comes to get her. And the woman pulled up with gloves and a mask on today. Mm -hmm. And I was like, they tell you that that's not even going to help the mask and the gloves. Right. It's mm -hmm. like it's worse to wear the mask, they say. Right. Because if the mask is old and used before, and they tell you that don't wear that. That's okay, all right, thing. all right. Calm down, calm down, Charlene. Calm down. Well, I'm getting mad because I think okay, they're Okay, well, calm down, Charlene, or I'll have to get rid of you, okay? Oh, boy, all right. <laughs> yeah, oh, my. Um, the, um, uh, no, so anyway, so I had, it cost me 40 bucks to get down to Union Square and another 35 to come back. Because I took a cab back, and it's just you know I mean it's all because of the damn coronavirus. Because I'm not taking any subways. I'm sorry, I'm not getting on a subway. Don't you think that if you get in a lift or a cab, that uh, the the surfaces could uh, transfer? less uh, less of a chance. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> stuff down. Uh, do you carry I, some wipes or yeah, something? Yeah, I carry stuff. Yeah, yeah. Marjorie has gloves she takes with her. Yeah. Um, she just had to go down and meet with her boss from China, oh, who, who got in. Yeah, because he came. Not getting out. <laughs> he came well, from. Well, he may not be able to go back. 
Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't the president know. President shut everybody down to Europe too, didn't he tonight? Tonight he shut everybody coming in from Europe. Yeah. If you want yeah. to go to Europe, fine. Well, Italy, but, right? but you can't Italy. come. No, no, no. He stopped it to to go to all of. I thought he all stopped of Europe. Europe. All of Europe. Don't yeah. go to Italy. And you heard about the basketball game too? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, NBA yeah. is not going to run. A, is not going to start its season this year. No, they're they're shutting and it no down. Studio they're, they're, no they're, studio audiences. No studio audiences. Will you let us talk, please, Charlene? <laughs> yeah, they they I'm started sorry. the game. She's almighty. They started I'm sorry. the game. Hmm. What were you saying? I, I was saying that they started the game tonight, and they found out one of the players had got corona, so they shut it down and sent everybody home in the first quarter. But there's I, something about the NBA shutting down completely. Yeah, that that's they're done. They they're, they closed the uh, rest of the season or postponed the rest of the mm. season as of tonight, the first quarter of that Thunder's yeah. Thunder's game. Yeah. Uh, and um and I'm sure the NHL will follow suit because the Sharks have decided they're not going to play games with the uh with the crowd in the well, next 3 thank, games. They're all, their season's almost over. Thank but. God I've got this fatigue from the radiation because it's it's kept me from going out. Really? You know, yeah. but uh, Marjorie had to go down and see her boss today, but she's not going to work anymore. She's going to do all her work from home until this thing has passed. Mm. Uh, who knows how long it's going to take to pass, but if we're going at the rate our president is going, we're going to have it forever. Yeah. I, I, I made the mistake of going to Costco today. Did you really? Oh, my God. The, no. and, I, and I was out of toilet paper, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, then you have an excuse. If you get the corona, yeah, I was. It, I, I had an excuse, but God, was it a bad time to run out of toilet paper? Well, just stay uh, six feet away from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That was impossible. You know, they have a. I, I was telling the lady, and well, okay, first of all, you walk in, mm -hmm. and I'm going, "What is this line?" And the lady says, "Oh, we're getting toilet paper, water, and paper towels." And I said, "You got to be kidding me! This line started in the uh. meat department. It went <laughs> all the way to the front of the store." All the way across all the checkouts, all the way to the back of the store, yeah, yeah. and then they divvy out their two packages of uh, toilet paper and paper towels and water, and then you had to get back in line, which went all the way to the back of the store. And this really? is a Costco that's in the BFE. Really? You know? Yeah. yeah they, they don't have a big you know, crowd except maybe on the weekends. Wow. And I went, you got to be kidding me. I felt like I was you know, in line for cheese. Kevin, wow. uh, I've noticed that restaurants and stores uh, around me have been pretty empty. Yep. My yeah, well, is... it's it, it's getting that way. I mean, it, it's crazy. You know, and I, I felt stupid in that line. I'm going, geez, I just ran. I told the guy when I got there, he goes, yeah, I know. This is pretty crazy. He says, he says I'm getting to the point where I better grab myself a pack because I'm not going to be able to wipe my butt later on. <laughs> I, um, uh, I've had my warehouseman. Uh, I have some special stuff that we spray on floors to kill bacteria that they use in the hospitals, and it even kills E. coli. So I told them, put it in the spray bottle and spray and clean every surface morning and afternoon. So, uh, you know, every door handle, uh, every, every uh, countertop, I said, I want it clean twice a day. Uh, yeah, we did that during the SARS thing, too. That when I was working, we did the same thing. And, and was that in 08? And luckily, we were in a, a, a downturn in the economy, so I had the guys to do it. But yeah. it, 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 it's crazy what's going on. Well, now, the, the question here is uh, how much of the fear is, is warranted and how much of it is o over, over I doing think, it? I, I think, think a lot it's of it's overblown. I think a lot of it's overblown, but I think a lot of you got to look at it as if. What Something you're saying is happen. it's over. It's to... overblown because of a sense of caution. Correct. Yeah. You you got to yeah. be cautious. You got to understand that something's happening. Something's going to go. You know, there is something happening, but we don't need the coronavirus but, team no, 24 no, and, hours and, a day and, on and, MSNBC. And, and none of us. Well, I'll get to you in a second, Charlene. None of us really need, uh, you know, uh, our, our uh, doctors. And it's hard for us to predict, and even for those doctors to predict, how far this thing is going to go. The only person in America who knows how far it's going to go is Donald Trump. He seems to have a real exactly. good indication of it, because uh, he should have been a doctor, according to him. He's not overreacting. 
But uh, he is he, saying he, some of the stupidest crap I've heard no, and come it, out of any he, president's he, mouth. He is not leading. All you need to do is listen to what your parents said when you were a little kid. Put away your toys, wash your hands, and don't pick your nose. You know, I, I, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it, it's very simple. Wait a minute. It's Hold just, on a second. I'm stuck. stuck. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that, that was, had gray matter on it. Really? <laughs> well, yeah. I yeah. think Charlene wanted to say Let, something. Yeah, Charlene. Mine was just a basic. I heard they were price gouging. Like at uh, hardware stores for hand sanitizer, you know, when Kevin was talking about the hoarding of the toilet paper and all that stuff, I heard that they're overcharging now in some places for it. You know, it, oh. isn't that ridiculous? You know, what Marjorie is and bringing then, back from work yeah. tomorrow is uh, our super masks, not the not the usual. The those little, ones, those right. little ones, that, huh? Is it yeah. N95? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The good uh, kind, right? Yeah. But you know, I mean. I, yeah, I just don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 80 years old, and I have a pre-existing condition. Uh, you have to watch out. Right? Uh, is it going to kill me? Well, it, it may not kill me anyway, but, you know. Uh, hey, Kurt, I saw a thing on YouTube where you could take your wife's bra, cut it in half, re-glue the strap, and make two masks out of it. You can <laughs> use a panty liner, too. It's got pre-stick on it. <laughs> Well, I, 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 they don't need to tell me that. I used to do that all the time with bras. <sighs> ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the Sears catalog. Used to always. That was the Sears <laughs> catalog. Yeah, um, but you know, I mean, uh, I, you know, I, 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 I know that we have a real problem here, uh, but it, it, we don't know the extent of it because a lot of uh, the precautions were not taken ahead of time. There was. When the first case of it appeared in uh, January, China. Uh, no, in Washington. Oh, oh, our uh, we had one in in Washington in in January. Yeah, yeah. Wuhan. That the no, first no, 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 no. In, in Wuhan China. was before that. But what oh. happened was the first case in America was in Washington in January, and people there wanted the ability to make a vaccine. And they couldn't get permission from the government because Trump wouldn't give it to them. I don't. What do you mean? I, I do you, that, you don't believe it, Phil? No, I it's believe it, it's been documented. There's regulations. You just can't come up with a vaccine and start giving it to people. They don't allow that. I mean, that's not Trump's They were fault. looking that's for the permission. They had the vaccine. They were going to give it to the government. The government was supposed to give them permission to make it in their labs. OK, okay. <laughs> and 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 Trump nixed it. So if they make this vaccine and it caused you to cluck like a chicken, then you'd blame Trump. No, for that. Trump. What happened to the right it. to try? Oh, there is no right to try. I there, thought that's there, what he didn't he do a right to try he, thing. Yeah, he did a right to try. thing. You're I'm under, just well, asking. excuse me, Phil, but we all know that Donald Trump knows about more about medicine more than the people around him. Uh, you know. Yeah, he said that. He he says something, and five minutes later, Fauci says something completely different. Did you hear Fauci's voice? He sounds like he's got the coronavirus. You know. Well, he's Fauci. standing right next to Trump. That's a good thing. Yeah, well, Trump might <laughs> Trump might have it, but he refuses to be tested. I mean, well, he, he went he, he went to that uh, that uh, CPAC meeting. Where, it became, where at least four oh. people have gone home yeah. so they How won't about? give it to other people. And on top of that, he licked the American flag, which might have been put there by somebody with... The, you know something? We can only hope. Okay? You know we can you know only hope. Funny is, you know what's funny is the, uh, the, the, the congressman, was it Getz, that got it? And yeah. He was walking around with the mask Yeah, on, he was the guy that he was ended up getting it. trying to be funny about the whole thing. Yeah. Yes, Charlene? Um, I just heard tonight that it's going to go into human trials. You know, like uh, now, you know, like they, they that they, I, I've done human uh, some testing like that around here, but it went out of business when they had the shingles thing. I could have done that, but they didn't take me for it. Like now, people are going to volunteer to, you know, see if it'll kill them. Like a placebo is in one syringe, and the other one will be the real thing. Didn't they you do know. that to prisoners? You know, the pr uh, prisoners, life lifers. Prisoners they and people from New Jersey do it, Phil. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, it's you know, I mean, uh, it, 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 yes, uh, Jeff. I've been uh, reading about it a lot today, mm -hmm. and uh, also, 
my daughter works at uh, Mass Medical, mm -hmm. and she's writing it all the time because they're trying to figure out how to organize their their uh, medical school there mm -hmm. and, and their hospital and all that stuff. It's very, very dangerous. Yeah. The whole thing. And any of us who are somewhat older, mm -hmm. um, who have certain uh, pre- um, kind of heart problems or whatever. Yeah, we're it's a, yeah, you're, very, you're more septic. So the you're you're, thing, you're down in Florida, right? Still, I am right now. I'm about to come back uh, in about uh, three days. I'm going to start driving. What have back. you done about it? Have you left the house, or do you stay where you are? You stay put. Well, um, I tell you, I'm washing my hands like yeah. twelve times a day. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, I don't do that because I'm not leaving the house, you know, and nobody's really coming in except for Marjorie. And if I catch it, she, and like I've always said, she'll be the death of me, <laughs> you know. Um, so that's one of the things I'm doing. Um, I, I noticed there was nobody in the restaurant the other day as I went, went by today. There was like, like a restaurant. And there was like five people left. We're in Florida. That's because you didn't go in when they had the early bird special. Yeah, because they don't have that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So. So what were you it, saying about your daughter? Oh, Organizing? yeah. So she just sent me something that I was reading. Um, I think it's from the Atlantic, which is a magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was very informative. And, and the one thing that I do remember is that the people who got these diseases in, in uh, Italy and, and, and other places and whatever, you know, that they started out like all of a sudden they had 50 people who had the disease, okay? And then like three days ago, three weeks ago, then they got 50, if not 5,000. And then it went up to 50,000. I mean the numbers. Yeah, what's what's interesting though in China, uh, the, the the virus seems to be slowing down. Yeah. So maybe yeah, maybe we have some kind it. of timeline on this thing. Now, the fact is that the idea that warm weather will stop it is a, is is a fallacy because there are countries that have warm climates yeah. right now. The Philippines ha have uh, yeah. an outbreak. And it's hot there. Yeah, yeah, so that doesn't have anything to do with it. But I think there is a certain life to a virus, okay? Yeah. And that, yeah, we don't know how many people are going to be dead before it's over with, but that yeah. at least China has closed down several of its temporary hospitals because they don't need them. What happened to all of those people in uh, Wuhan? Now, I, they, I saw some news reports when they could get news reports out of China that said there's, there's nobody. The city is empty. It's, it's like a million people have just vanished off the face of the earth, and they haven't come back. It's not that they went into their houses. They just vanished. Oh, no, they went into their houses. I've seen pictures of them taking buckets, loading, they load buckets with food in them, and then they lift them up to their apartments. Yeah. The pictures I saw of well, these you, big apartment buildings, they, they were empty. There was nobody in them. Well, there are a lot of big apartment buildings that are empty anyway in China. My daughter's friend has family there, and they're still there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and but, we'll, but, uh, but one uh, of the things that the reason that China, I think the numbers are coming down a little bit, mm -hmm. is they've done a real strategic approach about taking anybody who's sick and separate them. From anybody else in the family, they would put them in a, uh, a special uh, facility. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, I think they have much better uh, numbers on how to measure people and to inject them. And well, they've been telling because us. Because we that can't do that. that we've been, they did hardcore isolation. You saw those early films where they were grabbing people and putting them into uh, isolation areas right yeah. away. Yeah. With Yours. I think that works. Yeah, Charlene. They uh, sent the National Guard. That's how we're handling it, right, to New Rochelle. 
I, you know, I guess they're going to keep everybody in, right? They're well, I would have sent the National Guard to New Rochelle just for general purposes. Right. <laughs> Isn't that the, uh, I thought of uh, the old Dick Van Dyke show. Wasn't he from New Rochelle? The National Guard is going there to clean surfaces, to br deliver food to people that are quarantined. That's what they're doing. They're not. And then uh, Trump is kids. helping everybody. With Did anybody guns. say that, Phil? She was just saying the National Guard has been going there. That. We know the National Guard goes places where they're not there for. They uh, just stand there. Usually, you know, right? they're, they're, no, they're there to help. Right. They're there to do cleanups and things like that. You know. Well, she made it sound yeah, like it was the same kind of environment that they had at Kent State when the National Guard was there. I didn't make it sound like that, Phil. No, I didn't. I didn't get that from her. But you know, I mean. And they, they just canceled the St. Patrick's Day parade, which is a good thing. Did they for real? Because uh, yeah. if you've ever been in New York City, Disgusting. when the St. Patrick's Day parade is going on, this is the most obnoxious activity that we do green all year vomit. long. Out, green, out green vomit in the subways. I there mean, it's terrible. no hand washing going on. Alcohol <laughs> <laughs> supposedly cures the uh, the virus. And so they should have had the St. Patrick's Day because, you know, their bodies are going to be more than 70 percent alcohol after the day. And no bad pipes. the only ones that will be living. That could spread a lot of coronavirus, those bad pipes. Yeah. yeah. Um, according That's to American true. Patriot, it says China has leveled off very few new cases over the last month. That's good to hear, yeah. though, because that was like ground zero. Well, right? yeah, that that gives you an indication of maybe the lifetime of this disease, but we haven't gotten the full brunt of it yet. We okay. haven't even gotten the start of it yet. This well, is going to make a good movie I, someday. By closing uh, the borders to, uh, to people from outside countries, that may stem some of the effect. You know, we still have or a thousand. Or it may not do a damn thing, Phil. Well, now we have 1,100 and something. That, that, that may not do a damn thing, though. We don't know that that does anything. I've heard some doctors say... Yeah, you can do that, but it's not necessarily going to stop it. Effective. You know, I mean, how many how many cases do we hear about where there are people who've had no contact with anybody who's been outside the country and they got it anyway? Well, there are other people that. Where was Tom were, Hanks? You know, three three generations. Well, Tom Hanks was in uh, was in uh, uh, Australia. Is it? Yeah, this is where he was. Yeah. So. Hey, uh, Ray, did you clean hey. those surfaces? I did. You clean what the handles and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all cleaned. I I, I sprayed it with the with special juice. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jim. Jim's are are being especially cautious about all of this. They're not yeah. close. Yeah, hmm? I'd say there's only about a quarter of the people that are normally here right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the person that complains about you talking there? Yeah, they will in a minute. That's okay. <laughs> What are they going to do to me? Yeah, right. <laughs> Give you the virus? Give you the virus. Yeah. Right. I, well, I checked on the Just website. Call. There's only, there's only oh, one person in Palo Alto who has the coronavirus at the moment, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, 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 Charlene. Yeah, you know, you're talking about the hand, hand sanitizer. There's one that's the good one, and I forget what, you know, but you got to make sure you're using well, the, the good one, not the one that's mostly alcohol or is something. Is that Purell? Now, Purell sucks. It's, there's, you know, better ones, right, that are better hand sanitizer. And then I heard that the sanitizer takes off the oil on your hands, which could be protecting your skin. Because if you have cracked, broken skin from too much hand sanitizer that's alcohol, the virus can get through the I got, I got, I got addicted to that hand sanitizer when I was at Sirius XM uh, because they had it in the bathroom. So every time I go finish and go to the bathroom, I use a hand sanitizer, and it, it disappears when you go like this, right? And I got, I got addicted to it, and my hands started drying out, started getting mm -hmm. exceedingly dry. So I don't know that they shouldn't have lotion added uh, to the hand sanitizer because... That stuff, it, it, it can tear your hands up. But we have a bottle of it here, but I don't use it because the only person that comes here is Marjorie. And, uh, of course, she's been with her boss from Hong Kong. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm a dead man. Would you steal that from Sirius, that bottle? No, no. Uh, <laughs> now, Marjorie got a whole bunch of bottles. And uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me Sell that on the Internet. Hold on a second. Hold on. I got to go over here. Go into this bag. Here we go. 
Uh, and she got some of these. Okay. What is this? Wait a minute. I thought these were. I thought these were masks. Those are poop pads. I think she got the wrong stuff. Aren't those what you put for a dog to pee? It looks like a huge tampon that I've got here. Bed pad. I have no idea what this is. But she gave these to me the other day and said, here, these are for... If you pee in bed. If you have an accident. Yeah, but there's nothing here. Look at that. What is that? That's for the bed. Is that for the bed? Yeah. It's a pad, so it's a pee pad. It's a pee pad for the bed. Yeah, you're incontinent. Marjorie, uh, if you're listening to this program <laughs> right now, you got the wrong things. You, that way you don't have to it's change. It depends for an elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I I you know what works is uh, fat-free chicken fat. I had face masks. Well, I'll have my mask tomorrow, okay? So, anyway. It will be an improvement. Yeah, yeah well, I mean. How old is Tom Hanks? Uh, I'm obsessed with this. I hope he's not. He's, in, pass he's away. in his mid 60s, I think. Yeah. Okay. But I, you know, yeah. If I, he doesn't go, maybe there's hope for us all. You know that there's a cure, or you can get over it if you get if it. If you or, get it, if you get it early enough, they they can uh, they can take care of it. You know, it's like with any disease. I mean, if they get it early enough, they can they can do some proactive stuff on it. But uh, does it work? Uh, like, does antibiotics work against this virus? I, I, have, I don't think so, no. Well, it was it was not yet. Antibiotics don't work against viruses. Definitely not. Well, they, they seem to work for me. I, you know, I get a virus, I get a cold or a virus. I go into Kaiser. I say, give me the zip strip, you know, those five pills, Zithromax. Boom. The next day, I'm well, they should They shouldn't doctor. be giving it to you without first making sure you've got something wrong with you that will solve it. Because it, it, <laughs> it, it, will, it will kill, what, bacteria? But it won't yeah. kill viruses. Yeah. Well, it always makes me feel better. So maybe I did have bacteria. Or maybe you maybe you just got over whatever you were getting over anyway. Yeah. Well, usually within one or two days, I'm into it. And I'm saying, why am I suffering like this? And I go and get the zip strip. Well, I'm taking these eye drops, which cleared up my my conjunctivitis, which was horrible. Just terrible. Yeah. No. Well, and you can't touch your eye mm -hmm. because then you spread it again. Right? No, no, because I think mine is not uh, mine's not uh, the kind it's, that spreads. It's, yeah, it's not it, contagious. It, no, oh. my doctor was touching my eye. Well, he had a glove on, probably. No, it was, it, it, it was the good conjunctivitis. It was the good <laughs> conjunctivitis. I only need another round of radiation to get rid of this conjunctivitis. Yeah. You know, some of it could have to do with my radiation, you know. You also could have gotten it from the uh, from the procedure, you know. Maybe no. somebody there was sick. No, had no, 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 no. No, it was bothering me bef while I, before I had the uh, the procedure the other day. Uh. Yeah. In fact, I mentioned it to them, and they said it looks like allergies. Uh, because I told them I wasn't, wasn't coughing, and, you know, I wasn't sneezing, and they so they weren't worried about it, you know. You know why he said that? Because his Bentley payment was due, and he was going to operate on you come hell or high water. But you know, otherwise I'm uh, yeah, I'm coming along okay, I guess. I'm just exhausted all the time. That's why I say we're going to do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Because, uh, mm -hmm. like, did, you know, some did, days I feel did, great, and some days I don't. You know. Did he say that the side effect of this was that you were going to be? Uh, I thought the side effect. Not of the seeds, but of the uh, of both, of the both cyber knife or whatever you B call both, it. Both, both, both. The, both. It's, the oh. effect of radiation is fatigue. Yeah, and in both cases, I've gotten radiation. Well, now you know it wasn't a placebo. Well, <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you know, but I mean, also, I'm you know, it's, it's a little harder to pee than normal. You know, I don't seem to have to go that often. Yeah, it's it, it's it's coming along. It, it, I'll be in another two months. I, and I have a I have a note now. I finally got a note from my doctor that I can show to people. It's a copy of the of the note saying that I've been radiated. So if I try to get on an airplane and somehow a Geiger counter goes off, you know, I can get on the plane or I can, you know, whatever. Yes, uh, yes, Charlene. How long do you think it's going to be until the effects of that radiation are going to wear off? 
Well, the radiation that I just recently had, the, 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 the uh, uh, seeds, uh, uh, die in two months. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're not like Chernobyl. You'll right. be. You know, and and then I'll just have a, I'll have a prostate full of seeds. Hmm. Um, and they'll be non irradiated by then. I, I, I did have good. I did have good news today. I just, I did not go all the way with it, but I had to see if I was, what condition I was in fully, and I'm happy to announce I'm capable of an erection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> and, and, yeah, put that in your monetization, YouTube. <laughs> Uh -uh. That's it. You just got demonetized. Why? Because ah. I, because I said erection. Yeah. Oh well, I'm talking about a building that we were putting up at the time. Oh, that's right. Building, I had building, one of those building, building. Kid. It was called an erector set. Yes, an yeah, erector set, and erector you could set. use one of those right now, couldn't you, Phil? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, the, the, the there are things like splints you can use. Yeah. You know. Um, well, uh, you know, that would be that I'm pumps. interested in it right now. I, I, yeah, no interest. Yeah. I, uh, uh, but I, no interest. Uh, yeah. Oh but I, yeah. I just feel there. I feel like just, you know, a little reaction to what, to the radiation and stuff. But the, the exhaustion is the worst part. So yeah. tonight I decided to do the show in spite of the fact that I felt exhausted because I felt, eh, well, what the hell, I'll, I'll do it. You know, do you, I think got, radiation I, huh? could kill off, you think the radiation could kill off the coronavirus? You would think so, but I'm not counting on that. <laughs> you know, well, if you don't get it, uh, then maybe it works. Well, uh, I doubt if that would kill the coronavirus. I think the coronavirus would probably kill me because I do have radiation in me, and my immune system is probably compromised. Yeah, you know? that's yeah. why I'm not. I, I'm Wait. afraid to go out, but I'm also getting ca cabin fever. I mean, I went out the other day to get some bread <clears throat> and uh, a few other things at the store, and then I came right home. Oh, and the new thing here in New York. You ready for this? No more plastic bags. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So you would think you would go to the, the grocery store, and they would have paper bags hey. there for you. Because they have the paper bags with the handles. and go No! They were all using it to wipe. They their want push. you to bring your own your own goddamn bags. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, so I said I don't have a bag. So they went under the counter and snuck me a plastic <laughs> bag. They don't even charge. They charge you usually in Walnut Creek. You have to pay for a bag, and they'll ask if you want plastic or paper. I never want plastic because I use the paper for garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Same Jeff. here. Yes, Jeff. You use the old man. Technique. Oh yeah. Oh, of course. Bag. You know, I you know, well, I use the I've got cancer thing every time yeah, I that's... can. Hey, you know, I go to Whole Foods. Yeah. I spent one hundred and seventy-five dollars. They say, "Do you want a bag? It's ten cents." I said, nah, "I'll eat it all right here." <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, right. I don't mind paying money for a bag, but just offer me one. They didn't have any. You yeah. know, that was the problem. So. Get used to. It. Yes. Yes, uh, Ray. Hey, yeah, it's off topic, but did you happen to see Bobby Slayton on Curb Your Enthusiasm last week? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He died like after yeah. Well, the first that five was, I was going to write him. I haven't done it yet. I was going to say <laughs> just your luck. You know, you get you get to be on Curb Your Enthusiasm, and they kill you off in the first ten minutes. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, it's not like you did your part, and they went, "Hey, you know that part's pretty good. Come on back, Bobby." No, he's done. There's no resurrection, <laughs> okay? No, he's finished. J Jeremy <laughs> was on, uh, Kramer was on a couple of episodes of uh, Curb well, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, but that was a few years ago. We're talking about a few weeks. We're talking about, what, one one week ago. It was Bobby. Yeah, yeah a week I don't have HBO. Last one. Bobby yeah. Slayton on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Let's he see here. He committed suicide. Who just called? Oh, <laughs> Charlie called. He committed suicide. Wait a minute. Because of the Jets. New York. Okay, wait a minute. Got to got to put Charlie in here. Hold on a second, Charlie Wallace. There he is. Hello, That's Charles. Me. How are you, Charles? I'm doing pretty good. I have forfeit for my last game, so I came home. You had what? <laughs> I have usually my games run past. You know, the show's already done, but uh, I had a forfeit for the last one of the teams didn't show up. So. Yeah, well, what's going to happen now with your little you baseball games and, and the coronavirus? 
I don't know. We just laugh about it. We've been bumping elbows. Um, uh, uh, high, high elbowing? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. You make sure, everybody, that on top of all of it, during this coronavirus period, you wear sufficient deodorant. Because if you're doing elbowing, you know, it, it's going to, you're going to, you're going to get that. So, you know, that's important. Um, but anyway, and, and of course we have, we have Ray there in, in getting the coronavirus, even as we watch. Uh, Maybe I'm spreading it. Wife beater shirts. Uh, is that how that works? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. white beater. Yes, yes, Charlene. Uh, Charlene. Charlene. White beater's white. Oh. You, know, you were talking about um, Charlie's, you know, umpire group and all that. Uh, they're starting to think of uh, like how, what, what crowd size is like, you know, the right size to have, and you know, pretty soon you won't be able to meet in any size if you know they're trying to make decisions on this. You know, Kevin brought up that NBA thing, so now like the teams don't even want to play each other. Mm -hmm. In all these sports, you know, organizations, because they're wow. afraid teams are going to give each other the coronavirus because of that guy that came down with it, you know. In You've the all NBA missed stuff. the point. You've all missed the point. They don't want the debates between Biden and uh, the. <laughs> so, so in order to cancel the debates, they're going to blame it on well, the coronavirus. Well, don't bring Trump because he shook a hand. They started that happened. already. <laughs> they started what already? They already shut down a couple of the the uh, the the rallies. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they just shut yeah. some rallies. Biden well, and and uh, both Biden and okay. Um, well, let me. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think there. for most of the people on this panel, I have to point out what an idiot our president is. But I'll just give you a more recent case of this. Uh, this one guy who uh, came was in close proximity to the person who got the coronavirus at the CPAC wound up going on Air Force One with Trump. Yeah. <laughs> okay? We've got to remember to thank that guy. And, and Trump <laughs> is not getting himself tested, which, as the chief executive of this country, it would be good if he did, so maybe if we even saw he had a tad of it, where he could maybe do something about it. But no, this moron thinks he's exempt from getting it, but he was on an airplane with somebody who might have it. Yes. I don't think that... They were in the same room. I, I don't know where you got. They were airplane. on Air Force One they were together. On the he was on the airplane. Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, Charlene. And you know what? He better get tested because I. And if I saw him, I wouldn't shake his hand. He's still going around shaking everybody's well, hand. Well, uh, 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 nothing would change on me because I wouldn't shake his hand under any circumstances. Me either, but don't, I certainly wouldn't don't shake, shake him now. Democratic hands. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I, I just think the president and then then he goes to a rally or someplace and he's shaking everybody's hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he thinks he's like a god and he's immune from this thing. But come on, Tom Hanks got it. That's what I'm he's thinking. Like an ostrich. Right, he thinks maybe. that if he doesn't know he about it, it can't hurt him. Right. Wouldn't it be something if he got it? And Pence is making a speech about it or something, right? Yeah, well, I'm wondering, well, imagine what that's going to be like. But it, it's funny that it, you know. I mean, he'll. Uh, 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 what's his name? The guy who's the head of the medical people. Um, yeah, that guy. Uh, surgeon so, General. Uh, not the Surgeon General, but the what's other. What's his name? Oh, 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 oh Fauci. Pence. Fauci. We'll say yeah. uh, we'll say one thing, and then Trump will get up and say exactly the opposite. Exactly the opposite. You know. It's like it's like you go to your doc. It's like he probably goes to his doctor and he says, "Doc, doc, I've got a sore throat." And the doctor looks in his throat and says, "Oh, you look like you have a strep throat." And he goes, "No, I don't. I'll see you later." No, you don't do that. <laughs> you know, you take the antibiotics and you take the doctor's advice. Yes, Ray. I, I saw a video where that doctor was explaining exactly what was going on, and Trump didn't like him and just cut him off. And, let, and then started saying his own thing. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it, it, we we like. And then he said that his uncle was a we, doctor. We've been, we've, been watch, we've been watching those things because they are the biggest comedy show on the air right now. 
if, if Trump wasn't reassuring and and trying to stop the panic, uh, you'd be saying that he's just fueling the panic. And his reassuring is certainly working, isn't it, Phil? Have you seen the stock market lately? This he's is not reassuring. He's he's telling lies. It's a difference. You know, the same thing happened with SARS and Ebola. The stock market fell. It didn't it fall worse. like this, Phil. This is the worst it has been. It, it, yep. it's not the this is the worst it's been since 2008, which was the worst since 1929. Within months, the stock market will rebound, okay. and on average, 14%. Okay, all That's right. Uh, happened yeah. after yeah. each yeah. one of Okay, these. and uh, yeah, uh, like I believe you. I'm going to invest that way. I'm going to take all... I'm investor. Yeah, well, uh, let me see here. Well, then, then, then don't tell us about it. If you're not an investor, you don't know what you're talking I about. Hey, hey, Phil, Phil, how is Trump saying that he has, you know, he's good as a doctor because his uncle was a doctor and it's in his blood? How is that reassuring to the nation? I don't yeah. think that's what he was saying. I uh, heard him say I heard him I say, heard him say, heard it. Him say it. He said it, Phil. If you, if you heard him tonight, his, his, his presentation was an excellent presentation. He wasn't talking about his uncle. He wasn't talking about Melania. He, he probably, he, was, he probably, he probably never went off script because his people have told him, if you keep going off script like this, you ain't going to win an election. Well, okay? aren't you happy that he's not? Going I think off he script? cares more about winning an election than he does about people not I, dying. I, yeah. Yeah. I, yes, uh, Charlene okay. has her hand up. Yeah, I heard that uh, we're going back into a recession again, but yeah. I hear that they're saying that he's giving some sort of like um, tax breaks for payroll or something, and then he's giving uh, employment, <laughs> like not, a vacation. What What is he? What it, is all that? Someone explain to me what's what he doing. It has to go through Congress. Tax cuts fix everything. Is what that because do, is that because people are going to be taken off for the coronavirus? Uh, and everyone's going to have money or like. No, pay? here's here's the reason that they want to. I think he's going about it all wrong, but the theory is that the problem is that is if let's say let's say just for example, schools are closed. Well, that means right. that parents who go to work have to stay home have to, to take care home. of their kids. Or it means that certain kids are not going to be able to go to school where they have a free lunch program or not going to be able to eat lunch. So what they're trying to do is make up for this kind of thing, you know. The, and teachers the, won't get paid, so they'll uh, have to do something. They'll get paid. The, the, what's happening is, is they pay taxes. Your payroll taxes that you pay, not the employer, but what you pay, uh, will be, I don't know if he said forgiven or just uh, moved forward. I think forgiven. So your your check will be larger mm -hmm. than what it what it was in the past. It's amazing. If, it's amazing how this guy finds money when there isn't any. God yeah. approves it. No, he wants to do that so he can cut Social Security faster. Right. What do you think? That's going to all come out of the surplus you, uh, of the. Of the Democratic talking points. Yada yada yada. Democratic. So that's. That's mathematics, Phil. That's mathematics. Yeah. We aren't paying. If we're not paying our payroll tax, we're not paying into Social Security. Right you now. You think he's going to cut people's Social Security checks? No. Hell no. He realizes it's going to raise the deficit. But Realizing. people are in pain. Uh, they, they, their business is slow, and he's being proactive. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't matter if he cured cancer. You'd come up with some yes reason why he was wrong. If he took it from Social Security, I'd be pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's only going to take it from your Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> he's done that enough. Uh, anyway, you know something? I I I, I want to see what uh, since we have quite a few lefties on this panel, uh, how you feel about what MSNBC did to Chris Matthews? I think it sucks. Did he quit or did he get Sucked. fired? He was forced to quit. He was forced, he was to, forced quit. to quit. I think he was forced to quit, and it's, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. What did he say that caused the incident? He, I don't know. I was working the election that night, so he I don't know. I came back Bernie and he was Sanders gone. He to, to Nazi Germany. He, he didn't, though. And if Bernie you hear Sanders the is clip, a Jew. But yeah, he didn't but, but he did. do that. If you hear the whole clip... That's not what he was doing. He was yeah. trying to say it's over. And he remembered that line from the book. 
Yeah. It was a stupid thing to say, but he wasn't trying to do that. But I mean, you have to hear the whole thing. Here, but you never here's get to a guy it. who has been a loyal employee of that <clears throat> organization for maybe 20, 25 years, maybe longer. Yeah. Um, as long as I can. And, just and, that and show they alone. Sh- and, yeah. they, and they show their loyalty back <clears throat> by treating him this way. Are they, hey, you know, a lot of people have gotten burned by opening their mouths the wrong way. Wasn't that the, the something the Greek guy who was a uh, gambler? Yeah, uh, that was Jimmy the Greek. Uh, Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy he said something. Ford yeah. Cosell said something. No, uh, uh, you know what Jimmy the Greek said? I remember exactly what he said. Yeah, look yeah. at that monkey run. No, that was that was oh, Cosell. That was Howard Cosell. That was yeah, Howard that's right. Cosell. That's right. Yeah, that was Cosell. That no, wasn't Jimmy what the Jimmy Greek. the Greek said was why black people make such good athletes. Is because oh, yeah. during slavery they were That's bred right. for strength. Yeah. Now, yeah. and I when I heard that, and correct me if I'm wrong, Charlie, on this, because you're the official black person on this panel right now. <laughs> but is there not perhaps a certain amount of sense in what he said? I, there, there's, well, there is some truth in that because they did. You know, they wanted the the strongest people to be out there working their fields. Yeah, look, yeah. buff Charlie is, and he got fired over that. CBS fired yeah. him, and it ruined, literally ruined Jimmy the Greek's career. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. yes, Charlene. Now somebody just said that Howard Cosell said something. Now, if Jimmy the Greek got fired, and you're right, Alice, I remember that's exactly what he said. Now, if Jimmy the Greek got it, how come Howard Cosell never got fired for whatever he said? He, he got he did. He got so, sanctioned. Isn't that why he left Monday Night Football? I think so, yes. Yes. He yeah. got sanctioned yeah. a little bit. ABC <laughs> didn't fire him, but they took him off Friday Night Football or Monday Night Football or whatever. Because he was like a god when he died. <coughs> and, you know, they didn't yeah. uh, say something bad about you him. Know. He y- yes, away. yes, yes, Ray. Who is the guy who got fired when Trump uh, made the grab the pussy remark in the trailer? Uh, that oh, was a Jim. Uh, Bush's Bush's who was the guy or whatever. When, when, when Trump, Billy Bush. Trump, Billy, Billy, back Billy Bush. Yeah, but he got fired because Trump said something. Yeah, that that, that, that one. Yeah. I, that one I was really bothered by because I said, you know, yeah, all, I, 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 the all, all the guy was doing that. was Trump was making these statements and he was just trying to humor him to keep him. In, in play so they could go do an interview. And yeah. yet, I don't know why he ever got, he got fired from NBC. He just, he'd just mm-hmm. taken a job being a co-host on the Today mm-hmm. Show, and he got fired for that. But Alex, yeah. remember Mike called in one one night and said that there was something else going on in the background, that there was some kind of issue going on that he knew about that was going yeah. on with NBC and Billy Bush? <laughs> Yeah, I remember yeah, that. that kind of was a added rumor. to it. Yeah, but that yeah. never came to light, you know. Yeah, it didn't, but yeah, it could have but, been going but, on in the but background. But I think, we don't know I think about. this whole thing with uh, Chris Matthews. He's back, but he's on a different network. I really think, I really think, and this is just my opinion, but I really think that MSNBC is an enemy of people on the left. Because, yeah, because, I, because they. I, told you, I can't watch. Right. I totally agree. They want Biden. They, they, they were like totally anti-Bernie. Well, they were totally. anti-Bernie, but I don't think that necessarily makes you a non-leftist. I was anti-Bernie and uh, I'm, no. you know, I'm as left as you can get. I've just never believed in the sincerity of Bernie. And by the way, here's Bernie's problem. This is why Bernie's losing this thing, because he never comes up with anything new to say. Mm-hmm. It's always the same. It's it's always the same speech over and over again. You know, going after the same people he's always gone after. He hasn't taken it beyond that and let it grow and flower. You know, broken record. Broken record. Yeah. Uh, he, he also, would you prefer Biden? Uh, 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 you know, so I'll explain why I might prefer Biden in a second. But uh, Jeff had his hand right. up. Well, I, the other thing that he, that he does is he can, comes up with this whole crazy idea about Cuba, which is like keep your mouth shut. Barack Obama said the same thing. Keep your mouth shut. Well, he, I, I think he was talking about Cuba. It was Cuba. actually the truth. It's actually the truth, what he was saying, but, that the yeah. medical system in Cuba is, is very good. I, I know, but you don't have to. 
turn that. It, you don't you right don't bring here. it up when you're running for office and you're trying to convince people to vote for you and you bring up something like that. That's not a good idea. You know, and you're a socialist to boot. No, know. it doesn't matter if he's a socialist. That's my reason to vote for him. Okay. Yeah. But, but I but uh, I don't even like him now. Here's why I I. But the, the deal with uh, with Cuba, uh, you know, it, it just you're right. He should have kept his mouth shut. Well, uh, th there you're talking about communists and not about socialists. Same thing. N no, it's not the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, democratic yeah, socialism. How, how's that working for you right now? It's working yeah. okay it's for. Working it's working for very well. For, uh, very well for me. It's paying most of my medical bills. Uh, what great for exactly. FDR? You paid for. What do you think? So uh, I uh, I didn't. There is no way. So far, this whole thing has cost uh, various medical people i would say close it will have when i'm through with it it'll be about eighty thousand dollars at no time in my life did i pay medicare eighty thousand dollars well that's that's what happens when you have insurance sometimes you use it sometimes you don't well but but it it, it happens to be that you know and then i have my other insurance and you know, whatever anyway the point is the point that i'm making here the reason why I prefer Biden over Bernie is probably what we were just saying. You know, I, I, the question here is, what is the object of this particular election? What is the most important thing in this election? Electability. No. Beat Trump. Beat, Beat Trump. Trump. Yeah, that's what I meant. But I disagree, Beat Bernie. Him. Yeah. Do you think that Bernie could beat I'm Trump? Beat Bernie, yeah. Yes, I, I do. Think so. And I think Biden cannot. Oh, oh really? Why? Be uh, because there's not much difference between Biden and Trump. There isn't. There is a lot of difference. Right. But if you can't see the difference between so. Biden and Trump, you can't, you no, know, I mean. I really don't think there is much difference. Nothing's no, going to change. Not. Biden's not going to put kids in cages. Oh, yeah, he already did. Him and Obama. Where? 2008, on the border. Those cages were built by Obama. They didn't put kids in cages. They didn't take them away from their no. parents and put them in cages. These were kids that were orphaned. They didn't have anybody to look after them. They they had nowhere to go, and they weren't cages. Those, were, were, those cages were not built to take, care, to, to take families and sequester them away from the rest of the world. Uh, they were. I think they were built there for people who were illegally coming over the border, and they had to detain them. Where's the masses of people that were coming over the border last year? Where are they now? Are, are they are these millions uh, uh, or or th hundreds of thousands of people that are in caravans? What happened to them? Well, uh, they, obviously they, we were being lied to by they Trump. Never showed up, Phil. We no, obviously were being well, lied to well. by Trump, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were being lied to by the media. No, he was the Trump's one that was talking about the caravans coming, Phil. Yeah, built the wall, and now. They're, they're not coming through. Plus, he the made a wall, deal. He didn't sense. build much wall, Phil. There's still a lot of gaps in that wall. Yes, yeah, but yeah. Charlene. Gaps with Some of it's falling down. No, I, I just wanted to address what Ray, you know, had said. Um, I, you know, I was thinking that myself. Now, I see, I think I understand what Ray was trying to say. Like, Biden uh, is sort of like the way Trump is, like, kind of like a thumpering, doddering old man. Because when he says things, he doesn't, you know, like he, he says stupid things and he doesn't, uh, you know, I hope if he were to be elected president, you know, they'd have to have like a crew to come in to mop up after him. Like, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't, you know, hopefully he would have a team or somebody behind him that would rein him in the way that somebody should rein Trump in. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not just, just that. Sure. Are you? Yeah, he's, he's, he's like uh, not too great. You know, Are you guys, I, I'm really upset if we get him, you know. I'll have to vote for him, but I, I wouldn't okay want okay Biden and the things that he said to some of the uh, voters that he'd spoken to, like the horse face pony lady? No, no, and no, no, that's he, an old one. He just had a fight with a guy. I, I can't yeah, remember now. I just saw the, that. Yeah. No, not the horse face thing. He had, he had a fight with a guy. Well, uh, I, I, I can't just remember just what one, it was one yesterday. More, it was in Michigan, yeah. Yeah, is this just Phil, well, Trump says shit like that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah Trump's uh, Trump, yeah. okay with that. 
You know, you you're, you're you know, you know what you party. know what Morning Joe did. I understand <laughs> you today the video because wait, what Trump says. yeah, I have no problem with it. But you guys are very upset when Trump says something that's in that same vein. Well, let me, but what Biden does it, you got no beef. Let me let me let that's me let me let me let me tell you something. Like Hold Biden. on, let me say something, okay, folks. I'm sorry, sorry. Um, uh, today, according to girlfriend on Morning Joe. They were they were discussing the fact about you know that the Republicans can use a lot of the gaffes that Biden has made against him as as audio clips, and then on you know, Morning Joe they decided to play a whole bunch of clips from Trump, and they went on and on and on yeah. and on. So if they want to play that kind of game, believe me, they've got more than enough stuff to play of Trump. It's okay, but you see, I'm just saying it's it's not. I am not saying that Trump was right in saying these things that he said. Some of them are despicable. But wait a minute, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Whew. Hold on. Me, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let my heart recover from that. Okay. So in answer to your question, neither you one of them are right. Tape, didn't you? I understand that neither one of them are right. You've got such disdain for Trump because of the types of things that he says and the way he says it. When Biden does it, there's no, there's no issue. There's no outcry. Phil, no, Phil, hey, Phil, I have disdain for why Biden. Why do you think I Here's prefer outcry. Bernie? Here's outcry, Phil. I have disdain for Biden. Here you go. Okay, but you're not saying anything like Biden's doing this and Biden. Biden All right, let me ask Twitter you this question, Ray. Ray, talk. Ray, it ain't let, worth let, it. Let me ask you this question: If Biden runs for president, will you vote for him? Absolutely. Okay, so there's your answer right there. It doesn't matter whether you don't like him or not. So, you know, he's Trump not my perfect idea of a candidate either, but Bernie is a nasty, nasty human being. He really is. Uh, and I've heard this from That's more. All bullshit, I, I know it he's isn't not nasty no, at all. It people isn't bullshit. Biden's I've heard it from guy. people who know him personally. I have heard it on several occasions from politicians that I believe in who say that he is not a pleasant human being. Yes, Charlie. I, be I believe you, Alex. Yeah. Uh, uh, except for the gun stuff, if Biden won, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, you know I, I, I could live with that. You know, I, I would dislike it as much as I like Obama, but I could live with that. If Bernie won, I think that would be a, a, a travesty. Well, I uh, before I'll go to you next, Charlene. The, the the problem with Bernie is I don't think he can get a lot of his stuff done, because there's going to be a lot more resistance to his plans than they will be to somewhat more middle of the road plans from Biden. And if we want to make some kind, the main job right now is to get Trump out, and I think Biden is capable of doing that because when it comes to going toe to toe, he can be just as nasty as Trump can be. If he can remember where he is, you know something. I don't think he's in that. He has that big a problem. You got. You want to talk about somebody who I think has mental problems? Trump seems to really have yeah. some real mental problems going for him. You know, he can't get dates right. He can't get things right. He's terrible. So don't start in. Don't start. Uh, what? I was just saying tonight when he was reading his speech tonight, he looked a little bit out there. Yeah. Maybe he's got the virus. And there's a rumor yeah. he's had he's had a he's had a stroke. At, you know, he disappeared and went to the hospital. They never have said what happened there. Exactly. Anyway, yes, Charlene has her hand up. Yes, Charlene. No, I just I just wanted to say, like, um, I remember what Joe Biden did. He had a fight with a guy over the uh the gun control and don't yeah. go crazy. Oh yeah, though. no, I saw okay, the hold thing. on. Yeah. You know, it was uh, that he said that he wanted to take away the uh the, you know, those the, the ammunition. AR-14. Yeah. yeah, you don't need all that stuff. And he, and he had a fight with the guy. But actually, you know, I, I'm in favor of that. So, you know, maybe it wasn't a bad he, well, thing. Well, he said, I don't want to. He said, he said to him, I, but, I don't want to take your guns away from you. I just want to take away the dangerous ones. And yeah. do you need 100 yeah. rounds? Do you yeah. need 100 rounds of ammo? Yeah, you don't need 100 I, rounds I, of ammo. I thought the guy was respectful when he was addressing Oh, Biden. no, he wasn't. And, Not at uh, all. Not the uh, guy I heard. I, I heard it the next day. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. He him. wasn't respectful. But that was what I wanted. But you know, I'm just mad because I think we're going to go into a recession. I think we are. No, because we're going into a yeah. bad market. We hit. And, and I'm really angry because I I think it's like the same thing we had again, 
we I don't want Trump again, so I'm going to vote blue no matter who, you know, and I just yeah. hope that whoever's in charge, you know, can do well, I mean, we I blew, guess Obama uh, yeah. lifted us out of what we what, were in what, last what, time. What, what, better whoever red it is can lift us out of whatever we're what we, going What to we've got to do is we've got to get people uh, to, you know, there's a, it, it, this isn't going to be decided by leftists like most of us or right-wingers like like Phil, this is going to be determined by all those people in the middle who the last time voted for Trump thinking he was the solution to a problem and have since found out that he isn't, and trying to convince those people that the person we're offering up they can feel comfortable with. Those people will not feel comfortable with Bernie Sanders. And as a matter of fact, here's the real problem with Bernie Sanders. In Michigan, you know why he lost Michigan, Ray? Because all those kids who said they were going to vote for him didn't turn out to vote. Didn't show up. They never do. They, didn't vote. they never do. They I said the same thing in they 2016. Did they turned out for Obama, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't turn out for Hillary, and uh, and they're not turning out for anyone else. But what Biden has in his camp that is very strong is the black vote. Yes, you know. it's. What thirteen percent of the uh, elect uh, of the I think uh, voting? I think it's more than that now. I, I, I think that? I think that's an Does old statistic. What? Why? Why? Why is that? I have no idea. I think number one, the association with Obama, and over the years, he has voted for things that have been positive towards the black communities. The guy in South Carolina, uh, the congressman that endorsed him. Yeah. That that I believe they say has carried a lot of weight. Yeah. That guy carries a lot yeah. of weight. Well, uh, no, no. Yeah. no uh, y- y- uh, yes, Charlene, you had your hand up? No, I was just going to say, I think that, uh, you know, his association with Obama being Clyburn. the vice president with him yeah, has a lot to, you know, carry with him. Yeah. So, I mean, there are so many pluses to him at least having a good shot at winning and being able to woo over those voters who who really maybe voted for Trump before because they thought maybe that would make a change, but that didn't make a change in their lives. He He's a person that those people can feel comfortable with. And the job right now, job one, is to get Trump out of office. Then we can worry about what Biden does or doesn't do. You know? God, I hope so. I hope so. Oh, God, yeah. I hope so. Uh, I hope you're right, Alex. But I, I, think, really I, think the problem I, with, I think the problem with Bernie is, is, is going to be that even if he got elected, would be to get anything done because people You're would right. be so resistant against him. Where Biden knows how to play the Senate, Bernie never has. And remember one other thing: Bernie's not a Democrat. He's an independent. He's an independent. You know, as a matter of fact, that was and funny Bloomberg when Bloomberg uh, was a Democrat. What? Who? <clears throat> Who who did you say? And Bloomberg was no, the Democrat. No, he's whatever he has. Bernie, Bernie has caucus with the Democrats for his whole career. Well, because well, who who, who, who uh, tell me who a socialist is going to caucus leadership. with the Republicans? You know, but he's still not a Democrat. You know, he's a Republican. So you know, what he's part of the Democratic leadership in the Senate. Yes, quickly, Charlene, do say whatever okay, you got to say quickly. Quick. Yeah, I think you know. Look at the hard time they gave Obama with health care. That he had to like cave in. Look what they'll do to Bernie if he tries to run any kind of health care thing, right? Yeah. It's going to be even worse. So well, you're right. You I think, think Biden, Biden has Biden. more of a shot than he does, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. Hey, listen, that's it. We've run out of time. This hour and a half flies by a lot wow. faster than the two yeah. hours flies by. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, what? And, 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 what? Your audience tomorrow is not feel free because uh, the, the the things have been discontinued. They don't want any crowds gathering. Damn the coronavirus! Darn it! <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much, Charlene, for being here. Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Ray, and thank you, Charlie. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Why don't you uh, like uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you. Okay, there they go. There they go. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Let me just get rid of them so I can make the lines available to the next program, which is, as you know, the intersection with Jack Bishop. He'll be here. Uh, and I should be here tomorrow night unless I'm feeling crappy. I'm taking, always taking that possibility. Uh, but I don't. I think if it goes like it went tonight, I'm going to be 
I'm going to be okay. Uh, but uh, sitting here gets kind of uncomfortable. Ah, I think I've had I've had too much in that area, you know. So anyway, uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. I will be back again tomorrow night, hopefully at uh, 10:30 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, Ronnie Bennett should be with me on that occasion. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, yeah, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later.